Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this bite-sized BOSS review of the MO2, the new multi-overtone pedal from BOSS. I'm Richard Beach and this month I've looked at 30 BOSS pedals and done bite-sized reviews of almost the entire range so you can compare the pedals to each other and see what you think. So, today is the turn of the BOSS MO2, as I said. Uh, one of the new pedals in the range, and we have done a full review of this, so you can see this on our website, sonicstate.com forward slash amped. believe it was the first review uh, in the world to go online. So, uh, I'm going to cover the basics of this, and a couple of things I actually didn't cover in that other review. I'm going to try and do it very quickly. First of all, here's my dry signal. I want a distorted sound at the moment on my Les Paul Studio, going into the Agnetal Rebel 20 and through the Jagoon 2x12 Vintage 30 cab. Okay, so that's the dry signal, and then uh, there's a lot that this pedal can do, but at the moment I'm on mode one out of three. Uh, just to explain what the pedal does, it adds various overtones to your signal depending on which mode you're on. Uh, the higher the number of the modes, so for example number three being the highest, the lower the overtones. So number one will be some nice sort of glittery high overtones, and hopefully if I add this in uh, while I'm playing now you can hear how those sound like. I did in the main review was basically to show with the sort of the balance more towards the uh, the direct signal of the effect but what I want to do here is show you how subtle uh, these overtones can be and just add something really nice to your sound so what I'm going to do is go through each mode on a slightly cleaner tone than I've got right now and uh, just show you what each mode does on a clean tone so you can hear what it's doing basically so now we're on mode one here we go
Right, so at that level on the balance, uh, it's quite difficult to tell the difference between mode one and mode two. I'm sure you can hear it uh, subtly going on there. But I think as a using it as a, a, a way to flavor your tone rather than using it directly as an effect, this pedal has a massive use. It just makes it sound so pretty. Really, really nice sound coming through. Uh, it sounds like there's more than one guitarist. Um, almost has a chorus effect in a way, but uh, in a, a sort of much more dynamic sense. So those modes really come into their own and sound unique when you're using it with the balance a lot higher up, uh, a bit more detune in the mix as well. And I would say probably on a distorted tone as well. So that's what we'll do now. <laughs> Subtle overtones, uh, nice harmonics, or really full on uh, using the pedal as effects. Uh, you can get those really rocky sort of, uh, I, the sort of tone that's been popularized by the Black Keys at the moment, um, a really garage rock sort of uh, tone that sounds like the micropog in a number of respects. Sounds like there's an organ in the background. Or you can use it on mode three, uh, just for crazy, really cool sounding sub octave stuff. I think this takes the best elements of things like the super octave uh, and the harmonizer pedal and basically allows you to get a number of tones, a number of uses out of it. It's one of the most dynamic pedals that I think is in the boss range at the moment, especially considering there's just four, uh, four direct knobs on there. There's nothing, you know, there's no split pots. There's nothing that complicated. There's no expression pedal. There's no need for an expression pedal. So yeah, a really cool pedal. And I think out of the three new pedals that boss have done, this is definitely my favorite. <laughs> 